Welcome back again. It's great to have you here. We're continuing on with our H5P series. In this one, we're looking at the dialogue cards. Now remember, H5P can be embedded in any LMS. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate that in the Moodle LMS, but it can be put into any LMS. Let's jump straight in and see what the dialogue cards actually look like. The dialogue cards are just a card that has two sides that can be flipped over to have a look what's on the other side. In this example, this is about learning Spanish. It has a picture. It has an audio description. It also has an option to turn or turn the card. When you flip the card, in this case, it still shows you the picture, but it shows you the alternate text. If we jump to our next one, again, we have the picture, the audio, the text. When you turn it and flip, it shows raspberries. Let's jump to another example. And this example is about learning animal sounds. And again, if we, you can play the sound, dog goes, play the sound, and then it is obviously a bark. Cat, play the sound, turn it over. It has the description of what, what sound the cat actually made. So it's quite simple, lots of uses that you can use that for. So let's have a look at how we do this in the Moodle LMS. So first of all, we go back to our activities page. We make sure we turn editing mode on. So I'm just in a course in our H5P activities course. This is an experiment. So let's go into adding a new activity or resource. Choose H5P. We'll call this one dialogue cards experiment. We then go down to our content bank, click on content bank, and we need to add the dialogue card activity type, which is just there. So I'll add that, I'll put the title in here. You can put a heading in as well if you like, that's okay. The task description, what we're going to do with ours is we're going to ask people to finish off the famous quote. So we'll just say complete the famous quote. Our first quote is this one here, which is from Nelson Mandela. So this is the first part of the dialogue. So this is what fits on the front of the card. And this is what goes on the back of the card. So on the back, we want to have the full description. On the front, we only want to have the first part. And they have to try and guess or think about what is the completion or what is the rest of the famous quote. We're not worrying about any images or audio at the moment, but you can add them if you do need them or if they're relevant to what you're doing. So for this one, we could actually put a picture of Nelson Mandela in there or something like that. Let's add another dialogue. So this is our next one. We'll go and grab another famous quote. We'll go with Walt Disney. We'll put in our quote. We'll just get rid of the number one in front of it. That's the full answer. Now I should actually explain that bit. Notice this is centered. With the dialogue cards, it actually does make it better if you center the writing. So I will center this one. The way to get started is to dot, 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 and see if they can answer that. We'll grab one more, one more famous quote. Let's go with Eleanor Roosevelt's comment or quote, which is actually pretty interesting. All right, add dialogue, put the full quote in. Just get rid of the align. Copy that into the answer as well, because we want it in both. Just the last bit there, without flavor. Okay, let's check those. They're all centered. Oh, this one's not. Let's just center those so that they sit better and look better. And there we go. All we have to do now is, obviously you can change all these settings. So retry button, disable the backwards navigation, scale the fit text inside card, you can do that. Uh, I might show you the difference between the two as we do them. Then there's all the text overrides, which is normal for all of these type of plugins. So let's go save and have a look. So complete the famous quote, the greatest glory in living lies not in falling. And when we turn the card over, but in rising every time we fall. So that way they get the full context of the whole thing. Now, if you wanted to make that a little bit nicer and more presentable, we could make the bit that's been added in bold so it stands out so then they see where that bit is that they've missed or the bit that they were trying to to guess next and we jump to the next one again we turn it over and we get the full quote and the last one turn it over and get the full quote so two things i'm just going to show you with the dialogue one is to go back in and show you that you can change this last bit falling and turn that into bold which will look more presentable. And we can do that with all of those is to 
quit talking and begin doing. I'll just do with those two. And the other thing we wanted to look at was the scale to fit inside the card. If I don't check that and I hit save, so you can see that, that we have the writing with the bold and the font size is still quite considerably, like it's quite reasonable and, and fits quite okay with the content. If we did have a lot of text in one of our cards, so let's say we go to the last one and we put quite a bit of text in there. Do the same with the answer. Just imagine there was a lot of text in there that we needed and we save and view. If we jump to the last card, you can see how the writing has shrunk down to fit. There was a larger writing there. It's shrunk down to fit. That's one of the options, which it does automatically. But if we change our behavior settings from scale to fit inside card, and we jump back, you can see there that it's made the card bigger to accommodate that text instead of keeping the same size card that we had to start with, squashing it down. So that's what the difference between those two settings are. That's all there is to adding a dialog card. Obviously, if you want to put pictures in there, you just add the pictures and they appear above the text as well. So it's quite simple, easy to do. Let's add this now into our H5P page. So we get back to H5P, we go to package files, we go to content bank. We are looking for our dialog cards experiment. We choose that and select file, choose save and display. And we now have our card or dialog card sitting inside our Moodle LMS page. Hopefully that's been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter. Check out the courses below as well in the description. And I'll talk to you in the next H5P demo or another video. Feel free to check them out. There's lots there.